Alright, so in this video I'm going to explain what astral projection is and how you can use it to do incredible things. So watch this whole video because I'm going to be explaining the exact definition of astral projection, why it's so incredible, and what it can be used for, and also who can actually do this. You know, can everyone do this or is this just something that you just have to be sort of lucky or skilled in order to actually be able to astral project. So before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be posting weekly astral projection videos and tips as well as a bunch of spirituality content and a whole load of other tips as well. So astral projection is essentially an intentional or an unintentional out of body experience where you actually leave your physical body and explore other realms with your astral body. Now many people actually naturally experience astral projection or OBEs when they have what's called a near-death experience and thousands of people if not tens or hundreds of thousands of people actually have these near-death experiences every single year and report this phenomenon of being out of their physical body being able to see themselves from a different point of view from above their physical body from their astral body now like i said many people experience astral projection naturally when they are in a near-death experience but of course you don't want to have to wait until then in order to actually astral project so you can intentionally decide to have an astral projection experience or an obe by following various techniques so astral projection is based on the idea that multiple bodies exist within us and that the physical body is just one of these bodies. So this idea has been sort of hidden from us for many years, but if you look back in ancient history and, and uh, amongst ancient civilizations, you can find that astral projection was very common and they used to do this fairly often. In fact, the ancient shamans and wise men used to do astral projection fairly regularly as a way of knowing things and sort of gaining wisdom, getting answers to questions and getting advice about what the tribe should do next. But then as civilization advanced, you know, these things were lost and we were programmed to believe that we can't actually do this stuff, that we can't astral project and that it's all a load of nonsense. So the ability to separate the astral body from the physical body has sort of been lost over the years, but I'm going to explain in a, in a couple of minutes how you can learn how to do that again and how to actually have astral projection regularly. But first, let's think about why you would actually want to learn how to astral project. Well, you can use astral projection to do incredible things like traveling through the astral realm, interacting with various realities, dimensions and even entities that not all of them are actually human. So it's very safe, anybody can learn this, it doesn't really matter how old you are and in fact the younger you are the more likely it is that you'll have an easier time learning how to astral project because you've got less programming. You know, society has had less of a time less of a time and less of a chance to program you and convince you that this stuff is a load of nonsense. So the younger you are, the more open-minded you're usually going to be and so the easier this will be this will become for you. But that doesn't mean that if you are slightly older that you can't do this. So keep watching because I'm going to explain how you can do this and a few basic ideas behind astral projection in just a minute. So like I said, it's safe, anybody can learn this. You can travel through time, through different dimensions, you can experience unbelievable things in the astral realm, but you can also learn a lot about yourself as well. And that includes things like your past lives, what your purpose is here on Earth, you can connect with other people in the astral realm, such as lost loved ones, lost family members, twin flames or even your spirit guides to get guidance as to what you should do and to sort of help you along your journey. You can also do more practical things with an OBE, with astral projection, like practicing or preparing for things like sporting events, like public speaking and more, more than that you can completely remove the fear of death from yourself, from your mind. You can appreciate life in a brand new way. And the interesting thing is that many people who experience astral projection naturally, so I'm talking about near-death experiences here, they report having completely removed the fear of death from themselves. And they sort of look at life in a brand new way where everything's possible and they don't really have that fear of failure, that, that sort of nagging doubt that most people experience that holds them back from living the life that they actually want to live. So like I've explained, astral projection usually happens when you have a near-death experience, but it's very possible to have an intentional OBE to decide to astral project and then to actually have that experience on command. So I'm going to be posting a new video soon explaining how to astral project. So make sure to subscribe to the channel because you really don't want to miss this. I'm going to explain exactly how to astral project in simple steps. But for now, all you need to do is just focus on these, the following things. Every morning, meditate for 10 minutes. Try and eat as healthy a diet as you possibly can. The closer you can get to plant-based, the better. 
because this will raise your vibrations and your frequency. Try and drink lots of water throughout the day. And when you actually try an astral project, you wanna try and do it between three and 6 a.m. So just bear in mind that it's gonna take a bit of effort and it's gonna require you to wake up early. So like I said, look out for the new video. It's gonna be posted very soon. If you subscribe to this channel, you'll get notified. And I'd also love to hear what you think. So leave a comment below letting me know what you think about this. And as always, thanks for watching.